class E resonant inverter uses only one transistor and has low switching losses yielding to high efficiency of more than 95%. It is normally used for low power applications requiring less than 100 watts, particularly in high frequency electronic lamps. The switching device has to withstand a high voltage. This inverter is normally used for fixed output voltage. However, the output voltage can be varied by varying the switching frequency. And this circuit operation is divided into two modes. The mode one, when transistor Q1 is on. This is an equivalent circuit for mode one. The switching current IT consists of the source current as well as output current. In order to obtain an almost sinusoidal output current, the values of inductance L and C are chosen to have the high quality factor that is Q is greater than or equal to seven and low damping ratio that is usually delta less than or equal to 0 0.072. The switch is turned off at a zero voltage. When the switch is turned off, its current is immediately diverted through the capacitor CE in the main circuit. Mode 2 when Q1 is off. During this mode, the transistor Q1 is turned off. This is an equivalent circuit for the mode 2. The capacitor current IE becomes the sum of the input current IS plus the output current I0. The switch voltage VT rises from 0 to a maximum value that is VT max and falls to 0 again. When the switch voltage falls to 0, the IE equals to CE dv dt by dt will not only really be a, a negative value. To limit this negative voltage, an anti-parallel diode, you can see here D1, is connected. If the switch is MOSFET, its negative voltage is limited by its built-in diode to a diode drop. And there is a hidden mode, that is number three. This mode will exist only if the switch voltage falls to zero with a finite negative slope. So Vt falls to zero with finite negative slope. And the equivalent circuit for the mode three is similar to the mode one, except the initial conditions. The load current falls to zero at the end of mode three. However, if the circuit parameters are such that the switch voltage falls to zero with a zero slope, there will be no need for a diode and this mode would not exist. That is Vt equals to zero and dVt by dt equals to zero. Then the optimum parameters that usually satisfy these conditions and gives the maximum efficiency will be Le equals to 0 0.4001 or by omega s and CE equals to 2.165 divided by R omega S. Then omega SL minus one by omega SC equals to 0 0.3533 R, where omega S is the switching frequency. And the DD cycle K is given by T on divided by TS, that is 30.4%. Now, I not during the turn on period will rise to IS and starts falling. This is IDC. The IT will be present when the transistor is on, and IC will be present when transistor is off between these two lines. And we know that the transistor is going to turn off when the VT becomes zero, and then it will reach to a maximum value, then starts decreasing 
to 0. This value is nothing but Vt max. These are the waveforms for class E resonant inverter. This is regarding the class E resonant inverter. If this video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.